The first step towards making our Webpack configuration a bit more sophisticated for other environments is learning that in addition to exporting an object in webpack.config, you actually have the option of exporting a function that returns an object. So in our webpack config here, we could actually do this and return our configuration object. Now, while that may not look too impressive yet, the really cool thing about this is that Webpack, by default, can pass in an env, an env object, into this function, like this. You can set the definition of this object in the command line using your npm scripts. So if I go over to our package.json, I can pass in a flag to Webpack dev server, which just integrates right into Webpack. This flag will be env, and I could either set it directly equal to something, which will get interpreted as a string, like I could say env equals dev, but the preferred way to do this is that you can actually set env equal to an object and set properties of that object with a dot syntax. So I could actually say env.env equals dev, to specify an env property. And that way, if I wanted to set multiple environment variables, I could do that. Going back over to the webpack config now, I can console.log this env object so that you can see the connection between the npm script and the webpack config. Let me run the npm run dev command, and you can actually see this in action. Just after the beginning of the console, you can actually see the object there with the env property set to dev. Let me scroll back up since it whizzed by pretty quickly. But yeah, right here you can see env dev as an object. So this opens up a whole new world for us because we can actually control parts of our configuration based on these environment parameters. This is really helpful. So in the next video, we're going to install a little tool that's going to make this process a little bit easier for us. It's called Webpack Merge.